This is question 7 from paper 1 of the 2015 SQA Curriculum for Excellence Maths exam. It's a differentiation problem. We have to differentiate this function and plug in the value 4. So let's have a look at um, the main rule that we'll be using. The function and what we get when we differentiate it, f dashed of x. Power of x. The index goes down the front, multiplies, and we take 1 from the power. That's the basic rule that we'll be using. If there's a number multiplying this power of x, then it still multiplies the power of x. So we n times a times x to the n minus 1. So that's the main one. And we know that if we're adding two x expressions, we differentiate each of them and subtracting two expressions in x, we differentiate each of them separately and so on. So th that's the rules. And we'll also need to know some of the rules of, of indices. For instance, x to the minus n be 1 over positive x to the n. And things like the square root of x can be written as x to the half and so on. And when we multiply two powers of x, we add the indices. So that's all the rules that we may come across in this example. So since it's powers of x multiplied by numbers that we can uh, differentiate, then the way this expression is written, it certainly cannot be differentiated as it is. We're going to have to get rid of these brackets, simplify things to change it into a form of, of subtracting numbers times powers of x. So let's try and multiply this out. Get rid of the brackets, in other words. So we'll have a 3 times a root x times an x, we'll sort that out in a minute, minus root x times this fraction. Hey, because we're dealing with we're going to be dealing with powers of x when we we uh, differentiate. Let's change root x to x to the half, and we know that x is just x to the power one. If we look at this, we can cancel off this factor of root x. Remember, multiplying fractions, top factors, bottom line factors there's a factor in common, we can divide top and bottom of that fraction by that factor and cancel it out in effect. So on the top of this fraction, we're left with 2 times 1. On the bottom of the fraction, we're left with x. And remember, it's x to the 1. So looking at our index laws that we mentioned over here, Powers of x multiplied together add their indices. A half plus two halves. One half plus two halves is three halves. This looks good for differentiating because it's a number times x to a power. Three times x to the power of three over two. The second expression, let's go up to this one. When you have a negative index, it's the same as one over the same expression with a positive index. Now here's the expression, we'll work backwards here, here's x to the power 1. We can then bring it up to the top of the fraction and it becomes x to the negative 1. So it joins the 2 in the top of the fraction and the 1 changes to a negative 1. So see it in reverse, if you like x to the minus 1 is 1 over x to the positive 1 and that's the fraction 2 over x. So we've now achieved a form of this function that we can now differentiate. Both terms are numbers times powers of x. So let's go ahead and differentiate using this differentiation rule. We take the power, in this case 3 over 2, and multiply 3x to the power 3 halves, let's take away 1 from that, that's 2 halves. So 3 halves minus 2 halves will be 1 half. 
subtract. Let's do the same here. Take the index, multiply. Now this negative 2 times this negative 1 would produce plus, one, plus 2. Negative 1 times negative 2 plus 2 at the front. X, taking away 1 from negative 1, surprising how many mistakes are made with this. It becomes negative 2, not 0. So here we have the differentiation answer, the differentiated function, derivative. Now we're going to be plugging in the number 4. So this is not in a form that we're ready to plug in 4. So let's try and simplify this and get it into a form where we can put 4 in. 3 over 2 times 3. Think of it as 3 over 1. Multiply the tops of the fractions, multiply the bottoms of the fractions. So 9 over 2. So 9 over 2. x to the half is the square root of x. That's a better form to put it in if we're going to plug a value in. Plus 2. And of course, x to the negative 2, let's use this law of index, uh, indices, a negative power, 1 over the same thing with a positive power. So that'll go down to the bottom of a fraction and become x to the positive 2. This is a good form now for plugging in the value 4 that we have to put in. So... We now substitute 4, so we've got 9 over 2 times the square root of 4, plus 2 over 4 squared. So that's 9 over 2 times square root of 4, we know is 2. 4 squared is 16. These 2's cancel, we get left with 9. 2 cancels top and bottom here, we divide top and bottom by 2, we get 1 over 8. So our final answer, 9 and 1 eighth.